Ah, hello, you uh, you must have snuck in. We didn't see you there. We uh, weren't looking. <laughs> Welcome to this week's chapter of The Man With No Goats. I'm the man. And, and I'm the no goats. So, uh, no goats, uh, what do we have in store for our listeners at home this month? Well, in this week's chapter, we have a crossword. What's a crossword? It's a word that makes you angry. <laughs> That was terrible. Thank you. Mm, you're welcome. We uh, probably should stop doing that, shouldn't we? We should. We should? Yeah. Yeah. Well, what do you want to do now? Um, this? Oh! Oh! oh. oh. Yeah, it's been a while since they've played our song. Who? Oh. Them. That's not our song. It's not? No. Are you sure? Yes. Well, what is that? Well, this. David Bowie's Space Oddity. Ground control to Major Tom. Ground control to Major Tom. Commencing countdown. Engines on. Take your protein pills and put your helmet on. Ten. Ground control to Major Tom. A A. Commencing countdown. Engines on. Four. Check ignition. One. And may God's love be with you. The blood storm. Uh, this is ground control to Major Tom. You've really made the grade. And the papers want to know whose shirt you wear. Now, it's time to leave the capsule, if you dare. This is Major Tom to ground control. I'm stepping through the door and I'm floating in the most peculiar way. And the stars look very different today. Here I am. Floating around in my tin can, far above the world. Planet Earth is blue, and there's nothing I can do. Though I'm past 100,000 miles, I'm feeling very still. And I think my spaceship knows which way to go. Tell my wife <clears throat> that I love her very much. She knows. Ground control to Major Tom. Your circuit's dead. There's something wrong. Can you hear me, Major Tom? Can you hear me, Major Tom? Can you hear me, Major Tom? Can you hear? Mm. Here am I, sitting in my tin can, far above the moon. Oh, planet Earth is blue, and there's nothing I can do. Do, 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 do. Fin. And now, it's uh, been a while since we've had a look in our Jed and Jamie recipe book. And there's a good reason for that. Mm. So tonight, instead of that, what we thought we'd do is take you through the wilds of our minds as we morph into camels. Ooh, but we, we can't actually do that. Can't or won't. 
Good point. Mm. So what we thought we'd do instead is introduce you to a new segment on the show called... World Cities That Sound Like a Sound Effect. Tonight's first city that sounds like a sound effect is... Chung Peng! And that concludes World Cities That Sound Like a Sound Effect. And now over to Keith with the weather. Keith. Monday, fuck. Tuesday, fuck. Wednesday, fuck. Thursday, unprotected knee trembler behind rubbish bin in convenience store car park. Gonorrhea warning. Friday, fuck. Weekend, fuck. This is History presents. This, this is, is what is. This is what is jogging. This is jogging. Unlike running or dancing, jogging can be done for pleasure and fitness. Jogging's history is relatively unknown, but its religious connotations are undeniable. Exactly. Yes. And now you know what jogging is. This has been, this is, what is. Just like the wide window sings a song, sounds like she's singing. Ooh, baby, ooh, baby, ooh. Ooh, baby, ooh, baby, ooh. He had no right to bring me back to this. As we said in last week's episode, she had 11 legs. Now, I'm never... Sh I have reordered time. I have turned the world upside down. And I have done it all for you. And we have two teams battling it out to be WTF captains of winning for this week. From Jar of Copter Pants Grandma Lady's Place, it's Diana Spencer and Margaret Thatcher. Oh, hello, ladies. Are your legs long enough to figure out? Long enough to figure out what the fuck am I on about this week? <laughs> There we go. Masters of language out of jar of copter pants grammar ladies place. Now, would that be Latin or Latino that you speak in there? Fuck and fat balls! Oh, oh, yes, definitely Latino. Now, Margaret Thatcher, your name's quite famous in itself. Are you related to old Iron Eyes herself? Well, isn't that nice? I once bought a pair of legs from the internet, but getting them out of the computer, impossible! <laughs> Thank you, Diana. It has been a while since I've had one of those little double-headers. But what about you, audience? You lot had one of those well-touted piss fucks recently? <laughs> Yes, 
Yes, you do, don't you? Oh, and now you at home, send in your home videos now to the address on the screen. And let's see your version of what Diana likes to call a piss fork. Oh, I am awfully sorry. I do sit corrected. She's right. You're not sitting. Oh, 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 it appears I've been corrected again. Oh, I'm very correct today. Twice corrected. I imagine you lot will be hoping for the same kind of luck and good luckiness to you. Lucky luck, 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 Oh, audience, looks like I've been caught in a loop again. <laughs> Thank you kindly. Now, let's cross to our other ladies' team, using their almighty lady powers and giant hands to wrench away the title of Captains of Winning for this week. It's Anne Frank and B. Arthur from the High Security Facility at Guantanamo Bay. Are you excited by the prospect of playing, of playing, of playing, of playing audience <laughs> now I'm frank you've been dead for quite some time eh? and be author uh, uh, my information tells me that uh, uh, oh yes yes oh yes you've been dead for some time too is that right <laughs> or am I wrong Right, well, you've answered yes to both. Would put you in a leading position of four million hats. A very clever, well done. Well, I think it's time we played that thing we play that most of the time is known as. What the fuck am I on about? All right, our first answering opportunity goes to Jaro Copterpants Grammar Ladies Place. When the Battle of Waterloo took place in front of the Great Pyramid of Egypt in 1984, how many chickens were there in the world and what was their place in securing Barack Obama's presidency ten years later? Audience? What the fuck am I on about? Go fuck yourself! Well, that's a good point. But let's not forget, Obama was the first female Prime Minister of America since Diane Christopher Columbus Sawyer. Hmm, now, what do we think? Is the answer all of them? And the assassination of Barbara Streisand? Fat balls! Oh dear. Audience? What the fuck am I? Oh, surpassingly, you're totally incorrect. And of course, by that, I mean, if correct was a physical place, you'd be in it. You're totally incorrect. <laughs> Thank you, audience. Well, that game was quite a surprise. What the fuck's going on here? Well, that place is Jaro Copter Pants on 40 million hats. What will you do with them all, eh? Oh, a wise choice indeed. Now, over to Guantanamo Bay. Oh, audience? <laughs> Oh, 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 that music can only mean one thing. Oh, it's hot seat time. Good luck surviving this. <laughs> right, 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 right. Now remember, the time's quickly coming to an end. And remember, the first team to answer this question correctly will take home the entire collection of WTF of I On About on DVD as a bonus. So, the lucky answerable question this evening is... Where the fuck are my keys? <laughs> well, the question remains, will you return next time to play for even more hats? <laughs> well, that's a big dirty yes. <laughs> Join us tomorrow when we have a whole new lineup on What the <laughs> fuck am I on about?
Ed and Jamie. yourself. Um, hello, can we help you, madam? Uh, excuse me, uh, do you know where the, uh, non-fiction section is? Uh, sorry, this is a, a bar, not a library. I know that. Where's the non-bullshit section? Uh, I, I don't think you want it. This is, um... Oh, fuck off. Number one footy show. I'm Hojo Drew here. <laughs> and welcome to Turkey Slap, where you get all the guys on the dudes in the boots, who they're rooting, where they're pissing, and who they're pissing on, when they're rooting them. Oh, nice one. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Let's start out with the weekend wank, and who better to turn to than Turkey Slap's best on ground, Tutor McWallow. Let's hear it for Tootie. Thank you, Hojo. There is a big weekend of cops and boots shooting up the coots. The Wangadee knuckle monkeys took on the Smurf jerkers for the start of round five. And I was disgusted with the Wang Nucks who had a shocker. A shocker, Chutes? A shocker, Hodge. Rumour has it that after the match, the players hit the clubhouse a toxic shock in a red hot twat. You drank responsibly, were considerate and respectful while engaging in light-hearted conversation and enjoying a selection of adult contemporary music that was played at a suitable volume. And, and... Come on, Chutes, what's the go? Okay, okay, I don't want to say it, but you're making me say it. They all left with their own respective partners. Oh. I know, I know, I know! Hold on to your frangarangas. And from what I'm led to believe, had consensual sex with their partners, most likely in the missionary position, where the players were concerned with their partners' cooperated organism. Oh, there you go, Jutsi. Back in your box, mate. There you go. go. Come on. It gets worse, No, it can't get any worse. Hold on to your gummies, boot cooters. <laughs> we're going to the glass top coffee table on this one. And look, if their partners didn't enjoy a rewarding, warm, Tender climax. I can't. No, no, I can't. I can't. Hey. <laughs> come on, Juicy, come on. You started rolling this ball of dung that's not getting any smaller, mate. But if you can't say it, use your puppet. Okay, watch. <laughs> if their partners didn't enjoy a rewarding, warm, tender climax, they finished the job by. Going down to the ground! <laughs> Your semi-gongs, your wrestling, your Moselle, then the other ones that will get you drunk. Now, the most important thing when choosing, <coughs> choosing a wine, whether it's in a bottle or a cask, is of course the alcohol content. The higher the alcohol content, the classier the wine, as it turns out. I myself. Has 
Huzzah! Now incorporating all forms of body movement, a performer can create any scenario. Dance. Movement. Or mime. The body alone can tell a story. Here, we will give you an example of this. Through the French classic mime tale by Daphne du Maurier, The Paralyzed Horse. Paralyzed Horse? Silence. Mimes don't speak. <clears throat> Once upon a time, there was a mincing mime named Marcel. Very original. Oh, shut up. Marcel lived in a lovely big bathroom. One day, there was a knock on the door. Marcel sprung up and answered the door. To his surprise, there was a horse standing there. A 20 foot high horse. It said to Marcel, may I use your toilet? May I use your toilet? In mime. Marcel tried to explain that his toilet was perhaps too small for a 20 foot tall horse. So the horse turned and left, but as he did, the horse broke wind and blew Marcel's house down. <laughs> Marcel was angry. Angrier. Well, he would have been, had he not been gassed by the horse's noxious bottom. The end. That's it. Indeed. And in covering the fine art of mine, create a world using his or her body alone. Ooh, often a good story will help. Sometimes an actor's talents alone will be enough. Yes, sometimes. Yes, sometimes. But unfortunately for you, we are not mutes. We both have a vice. Ah, oh, but that is another, another lesson. lesson. Huzzah. Ah! Tommy Tinsel! Tommy Tinsel! Hollywood celebrities! Ah! Oh, ah! Oh. Jennifer Anderson! Brad Pitt! Why? 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 Oh, all oh, celebrities! Jennifer Anderson! Brad Pitt! Ah! Why? 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 Why Tommy Tinsel in Hollywood? Jennifer Anderson! Brad Pitt! Why? Why? And now the end is near. Almost there. And I face that final curtain. Almost there. Here we go. And ba -ba -da -da. <coughs> oh. oh, she's getting good at that. That was really good. The letters we've been getting in saying, Jack, can you sing on the show? And I, I, all right, one letter I wrote to myself, honestly.